Hello, I'm Dale Kislik, and this video is all about the Morris Kohansky Super Shelter. What's a Super Shelter? Well, that's a Super Shelter, or at least one of the many, many versions of a Super Shelter. Alright, so what exactly is a super shelter? And is there really such a thing as a super shelter? One shelter that reigns supreme over all, that does everything you need it to, all times of the year, in every environment? Well, this video series is going to tackle that question in great detail. First of all, I'd like to talk about my history with the super shelter. Uh, the first two that I built, I built them at the same time, was 17 years ago after speaking with Morris uh, about the design and, and what I intended to use it for. Uh, I had gathered together a group of people that wanted to do some winter camping. And I told them that I would have two shelters ready for them. All they had to do was show up and I could guarantee that they would be warm through the winter, through the cold winter, for an entire weekend and all they needed to do was show up. So I built two super shelters. Each one could fit four to six people. I had uh, found a used 45 gallon drum and I borrowed a jigsaw, cut the drum in half, found some stove pipe at the local dump and voila, I had two stoves that I could use inside my two very first super shelters 17 years ago. Well, needless to say, we got through the weekend and everybody was warm and comfortable inside our super shelters at bitter cold temperatures. So over the last 17 years, I've built uh, quite a few of the, the super shelters. They've taken on many different forms, many different shapes and styles. Sometimes they're built for one person, sometimes for two, sometimes for eight or 10. Okay, so yeah, and uh, along the way, through the years too, I'd talk to Morris Kohansky more and, and get more information on it and make little changes here and there. I talked to uh, Kelly Harleton and, uh, as well, who has a lot of experience with the super shelters. And by talking to other instructors and adding my own experience to it, I've gained some first-hand knowledge of why I agree that this is indeed the super shelter. A few months ago, I posted a YouTube video on my channel uh, called The Best Survival Shelter, The Super Shelter. And to date, it's still my most successful video. It's had more views than any other video that I've put out there. So I know there's a lot of interest in The Super Shelter. Um, the thing I noticed is right away the comments started pouring in. There was all kinds of questions. There were good questions, there was criticisms, and then there was, as there usually is with uh, YouTube channels, a little bit of garbage that I was willing to just discard and move beyond. So what I'm now proposing is a video series, there'll be six videos in total, that address all the questions and comments that came up as a result of me posting that Super Shelter video. The video that you're watching now is simply an introduction video and the five videos thereafter will include the following. Video number one will be the history and how it works. So how did Morris Kohansky come up with the idea for the shelter? And what are the five components of a truly good super shelter. For example, the bubble, the reflective ceiling, the window, the uh, bed or the chair seat height, and also uh, fresh air exchange. So we'll look at those in great deal. Video number two, why not just bring a tent? And that's a great question. Why not just bring a tent? Is the super shelter for backpacking or is it actually a survival or a bushcraft shelter? 
Video number two will deal with that question. Video number three will be um, a lot of variations of the super shelter. So we'll look at uh, group shelters, we'll look at how you can add different pods to the shelter, uh, we'll look at the side super shelter, we'll look at the covered wagon style super shelter, there's also uh, what I call the super lean to, and then there's also some additions that you can do to uh, improve the comfort of your super shelter, such as the use of candles, hot rocks, stoves, and supplementing with a fire outside the shelter. Video number four will be applications. Okay, so how is the super shelter best used? Is it actually a survival kit component? Is it used in survival training? Is it a semi-permanent or a temporary shelter? Is it something that could be used in um, off-grid living? Is that a possibility? What about refugees camps? Could you use something like a shelter like this? And is it just for general family camping? Video number five, the last video, will be how to build your own video. So uh, we'll demonstrate how to build a group or an individual uh, shelter. So before moving on, I need to place some credit where credit is due. Okay, I need to honor first and foremost Morris Kohansky. Uh, this information has really come from his brilliant and inspiring career as a professional outdoor educator and survival instructor. Now I feel fortunate to live near Moores and I have the honor of being an understudy of Moores for quite a few years now and associating with him and also a community of like-minded instructors here in Alberta, a very strong community of people that are willing to share ideas. And uh, the thing is, as far as these videos go, Moores came up with the shelter. A lot of the research is from Moores. And I just want to make sure that he gets the full credit. The only thing that I'm adding myself to these videos is my own experience. The nights that I've slept in these, the ways that I've built them, and the incredible uh, use and applications that I see for, the, for uh, general survival living, you know, being my own survival instructor experience, my own outdoor experience. Also, I'd like to credit uh, Randy and Lori Bruzma, who, through their dedication to survival skills and long-time relationship with Moores, uh, they have produced many fine videos, books, DVDs, booklets, and e-books, uh, all on bushcraft and survival living and outdoor education, and a lot of it, of course, in conjunction with Moores' teaching. So, um, those books are available on the store on my website and then of course you can go to caramat.com and uh, you can purchase and download ebooks e and uh, you'll find an absolute gem or an absolute treasure of information there. So what I'd like to do now is just finish off this first video of six with a bit of a photo tour of various super shelters that I've built over the last 17 years and in addition a few other shelters that I've seen other people put together too. After that I encourage you to uh, subscribe so that you can then receive videos number two through six and get the complete picture of why I think this is definitely the super shelter.